Hi, this is Natalie, owner and creator behind Sparks of Joy Studio, and in today's episode, we will be featuring Unicorn Dust Designs. Here's another shadow box I have in my stash that has been painted and repainted a bunch of times. We're going to go ahead and give it one clean coat of folk art in the color Cottage White. It actually will probably take more than one coat. A few things I've learned about Sammy after binging almost all of her videos is that she loves green. She uses the word gorga for gorgeous and loves to be extra. We're going to start with watering can and the winter adornment stamp. The one thing I really love about Sammy as an artist is that she is really bold with color, with how she mixes things. She's not scared to try anything new and she's made me very um, motivated to do the same thing. I cast these molds using Amazing Resin. This is the Harper Mold from IOD and we're going to be painting them up in DIY colors. Old school for all the letters except for the letters that spell out love and those will be in this cowgirl coral. As I finish up this piece I just want to send a huge shout out to Sammy at Unicorn Dust Designs. Please go to her channel. I promise you you will not be disappointed and she offers all of the products that I used in today's video, the DIY paint and the IOD products um, on her website, unicorndustdesigns.com. Okay, for our last Sammy inspired DIY, I have this little wooden caddy that I got. I think I actually got this from her friend Brie at Upcycled by Brie. And we are going to paint it up and stamp it with some beautiful IOT stamps. So for the sides, I'm going to be doing the color Beadboard by DIY. And then on these sides, we're going to do Gypsy Green. And I actually chose green because green is one of what I believe to be one of Sammy's favorite colors based on a bunch of the videos that I binged that she put out last year and she kept messaging that green is one of her favorites. I don't know that this specific green is her favorite, but I do know that green is one of her favorite colors. So let's get started. Now that we've got it all painted up, we're going to use the sides of it and we're going to take these butterfly molds from IOD and we're going to do some really cute designs just on the sides. Okay, that was so lucky. I don't know if you noticed um, while I was doing the last part, but when I went to go lay it down, uh, my thumb got stuck and it flipped the um, 
thin mount off and it I, I thought it was gonna mess up the entire <laughs> the entire piece but it didn't um, there's just a little mark you can see right there where it kind of like hopped a little bit over but you know what it, it's okay it was okay another thing I wanted to mention is um, I did not stamp on the lettering because I didn't want that on this piece. So that's another thing you can do with these stamps. Just stamp pieces of it rather than all of it if you don't want to use the entire um, stamp. The next thing we're going to do is take this uh, crackle stamp from Textures um, Stamps, Vintage Textures, and um, Watering Can by Archival Ink, and we're going to be stamping in just random places to create just little bits of crackle. Mm -hmm. 